Arrowhead Community in Union County wants to clean up after a fire burns down the Arrowhead Hunting Lodge. The owners say around 1.30 this afternoon, the fireplace sparked a fire that quickly engulfed that two-story building. There was ammunition inside. You can hear it going off there. Thankfully, no one was injured. A family business, though, and lots of memories destroyed. Nicole Cartmel was on the scene today, and she's live at 10 with reaction. Everyone just had a face of disbelief, Jeff. At one point, they're hunting. The next, they're watching this building go up into flames, and it's full of all of their memories. The members of this hunting club are used to hearing gunfire, but not like this. The hole downstairs underneath the steps was packed full of bullets, and the upstairs, the whole, I don't know, whole big section was full of bullets, so no telling how many thousands and thousands of bullets went off in there. It's this sound that underlines what these hunters will miss. Every year, this is their life. They enjoy this. They play cards, they, you know, play pool, they sit by the fireplace, they enjoy everything. The guy just told me last night, he said, I love it here. He said, even though, you know, I don't kill a duck, if I do, I do, if I don't, he said, I love it here. He said, it's just a great time. That ammo is replaceable. But watching your life's work go into flames, mother-in-law of the owner says that's nearly indescribable. He has his heart and soul in this place. And um, I just, I have no words. You know, I have no words for him, my daughter, my granddaughters. They loved it. They, they hunted here. This was a big part of their life. And um, it's all gone. It's really sad. It's, uh, it's heartbreaking. So now they wait just holding on for their next shot to start over. From here on, we're just going to have to, you know, pull together and be strong. Tonight, about 32 hunters are finding a different place to stay. As for the building, the Ware Fire Protection District has ruled it a total loss. Live local, late-breaking, Nicole Cartmel, Heartland News.